Okay, we're back. We're good to go. There's a radio in here, and I should probably figure out how to get inside this building. Can I get inside this building? I was probably right next to the door, wasn't I? Oh, no. Well, kind of. That was close enough. Oh, I need the basic lockpick. Yeah, that's... That's outside my immediate ability to play. So, for those of you just joining me on this, uh, haven't seen this game before, this is Dismantle. It is a open world uh, survival sandbox game, kind of in the same vein as like Project Zomboid or Seven Days to Die or something, but it's not, it's not nearly as, I, I would say, complex as either of those. But it, it has a lot of those kind of similar elements. You wander around grabbing materials, building up. But I think you're mostly upgrading yourself. I don't think they have base building elements in this. I'd actually like that if they did. The music is overpowering your voice. Yeah, I think it's just this song. Which is a bit of a shame. Because the rest of this playlist is quite quiet. The reason why I turned it up was because it was bafflingly silent earlier. Eh. I want to... Got it. Okay, I got meat. I don't need meat. Luckily, deer AI is stupid. So I can kind of do whatever I want. I want to I wanna take out two more if I can. Because that'll get us the... Uh, that'll get us the bigger backpack. Uh, let's see. Even tacos. What's the best taco place around you? I actually haven't had Tex-Mex in like two years. So I don't know. I... Uh, the real answer is, Shell makes incredibly good kind of tacos and or burritos. We usually go burritos just because they're easier to handle. I always have, uh, hard shell tacos just d break in my hands and I've never been able to get them to do anything else. Uh, so, what Shell does is she takes uh, just basic Beyond Meat, spices them up nicely. This deer is a problem. Okay. Got it. And there's our leather. Perfect. M new monster slain. Deer, female. I press X to doubt on the whole monster business, but okay, sure. I guess I might as well rest here while we're at it. Okay, uh, so so she just spices up Beyond Meat, and then we have them with mango. It's like a m peach mango salsa that's available in in Oregon. That is incredibly good. And then we just have it with like sour cream and some other some other bits, maybe rice, maybe cheese, and it's just an incredibly good combination. Probably not as high class as some, but if you want to, like, a quick meal, it's incredibly easy to put together. And it has more or less made us swear off regular Tex-Mex food. Because, why bother? Aha! Ow. Okay, less of a ha- aha moment. It's fine. Can I get in here? I can. The deer are definitely monsters. Have you seen a charging male deer? Yup! I... I've been in cars that have hit deer, and they just shrug it off, I think. Not all the time, but at least the cars I was in, the deer just, like, popped right back up again, left us with a busted-ass car, and it's like, well, this is unfortunate. That was scary as boar and moose, though. Yep. Boar, boar are spooky and evil. Moose are confusing, because, like, they're incredibly docile up until they're not, and then you really just don't want to deal with them. Little Otter, Ethel Ridge, okay. I'm pretty messed up. Might not be a bad idea to just go camp. Unfortunately, the, the Spitter guys are a bit of a problem for me. Okay, invent and craft. It wants me to make the fishing rod, but we are missing wood. I guess I'll work on that. 
We got some fences nearby. This will give me some wood. Moose also like to swim. Likes to go pretty deep to eat the plants a few meters underwater. Huh. I actually had no idea moose like to swim at all. I guess it makes sense. And yeah, they're known to go seven feet underwater. Wow. But then again, when you are a, a land tank with, to my knowledge, no natural predators, like, yeah, you can kind of do what you want. <laughs> That's why Moose's largest predator are Orca. I... Do they have many other ones? Like, maybe wolves? Okay. It's considered a tool. Well, I got space for it. Gray wolf and bears eat moose. Okay. I have drowned. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. I was just assuming that, you know, you wouldn't just fall in, but I, I guess you do. All right. Now for my favorite part of this game. Fishing. Oh, actually, that's a lot easier than I thought. I just, I just sit here. I don't actually have to react. There's no mini game. It's just going perfect. I, I don't hate fishing mini games. I just find them to be incredibly contrived. Oh, and I can just sit here. Like I, I can just leave it be while I fish. I thought you went into swim. Hopefully, they add proper swimming. But oh well. So yeah, I can I can straight up just let this character fish for a while. And it's a huge amount of EXP, all things considered. Yeah, AFK fishing, awesome. That's where I'm at. I like I could pull out my phone, I can check some emails. Uh, it's telling me that I've logged into a new Twitter account. Well, not new Twitter account, Twitter account on a new platform. Which is entirely expected because honestly. Uh I got a new phone. It's a nice phone. I don't know. It's... Wow, that's a lot of fish already. I'm just going to leave it here for a bit. Oh! Okay, so you can AFK fish, but you have a limitation. Whoops. You can't just AFK fish for hours. You go away for like five minutes and then come back. All right. Well, enable sleeping campfires. Sleeping passes time. And temporal well-rested bonus effects. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. That requires hide. That's a very hard no from me. But yeah, back in an hour. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess not in this case. It would have been lovely if you could actually just come back later. But that would probably be way too easy leveling. So I understand. Why not? Okay. Now these guys are dumb and cannot catch me. For I am the East... The gingerbread man. Gosh, I haven't heard that rhyme in a in ages, so I'm like, I'm the Easter Egg Man? Now that doesn't sound right. I heard him say, oh. What does that mean? Uh, can I switch this up for the shovel? Yes. What do we have here? Metal. Okay, so it doesn't actually seem like it's terribly necessary. Walk just right past the Zambo and it's just like, what? It's so good. Alright, where am I? So we're at the Runes of Ethel Ridge. And we're near a new region. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep wandering around. There's gotta be, like, a camp right here. So, is this Zomboid with RTX on? I mean, that's it's not a bad summation. I would say... I The main thing is Zomboid is a much more realistic and less arcadey experience in this. That said, I'm kind of here for... I, I'm kind of here for the arcadiness of this. It's... It's hella cash, but in a good way. Ooh, fabric.
Okay. Ooh. Baked potatoes are good by themselves, but with added fishy sauce, they become excellent. While we're here... Oh, you already have max HP. Okay. So every recipe, when cooked once, gets you max HP points. After that, it heals you. Well, it's a good thing it, it told me not to. I was wondering about that with the whole cooking system. It's like, there's no way. There's no way. Okay. Uh, for people wondering why I don't use the power attack, it's because it locks me in place. It's good for one-shotting things from behind. But only that. Okay, we gotta find more reasonable source of straight metal. Oh. Let's see, I think you left your tomatoes in there. I guess I can go check real quick. Because, yeah, that is a possibility. Oh, yeah, let's just break this. I cannot wait until I can actually just bash my way through walls. Nope. It reset. Okay, car's got porcelain. I guess I'll just go for the metal scrap here. But yeah, I'd rather go for the quick attacks and kiting and not get hit than slower attacks and get hit often. Nope. Oh. What is... What is that? Is that like blue stuff water? It probably is. Oh, my inventory's already full. Of course it is. What is that? Ooh, spices. So, can you base build in this game? Not to my knowledge. Oh, why did I rest? That said, this is alpha, so... I would not be surprised if they don't add it later. As a potential thing. But currently, there is no base building available. Okay, so we're looking for the spices. Yeah, I guess the power attacks would be good against these guys, like from behind. But otherwise, eh. Okay, can I? Oh, I can break the chairs. So this is probably how I get fabric. Yep. Fabric and lumber. Bonus. I can break this sink. I can break a lot more stuff than I wanted. I should have known since it was called Dismantle. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be... Well, I don't know. It looks like the kind of game that absolutely would have... Uh, that absolutely would have base building built into it. And realistically, it wouldn't even be that hard from a development standpoint, probably. They've already got the parts. I think the main issue would just be the practicality of it might not be there. You know, why build a base? And sure, I guess they could go the direction of... Let's see, they, they could go in the same direction that, like, Drake Hollow did, where you build a base and defend it against regular enemy waves. And I guess that'd be fine, but having just done that recently, I can tell you it gets real boring being locked to that base and having to come back and defend it. That if it was more about bringing supplies back to people that had had to regularly defend it without, maybe that's not so bad. Or if there was just a more substantive fast travel system. And I know there already kind of is, but... Oh. I gotta be level 13. Uh... Shoot. Do I want to do this? Yes. I don't know if these dogs actually give me leather. No, they give me fur. I'll take it. Oh no, that is leather. Okay. Okay. 
So we do have to worry about the cold up here. What I'm hoping is... Oh, it, it's over here. Damn it. I like the idea of the throwing weapons. They're just real awkward. No, I... Ooh. That could be bad. Oh, there was a horror there, too. Wow, look at this place. <sighs> Do I go back? I think I'm going to go back. I was really, really hoping I could get to... Uh, well, the most important thing that I want to get here is the is bits from dogs. So I'm already I'm already back where I need to be. I just have to get to it. Wait. Couldn't find me. Oh, that's hilarious. Right. Hit the transmitter. Keep freezing my ass off. Okay. Borealis region. You know... Doesn't surprise me too much that that is a thing. Okay. Let's go over here. We got a campfire. And I can open up the shortcut. And upgrade my backpack. Can't make anything else. This is something I put in my head. If the undead don't generate heat, wouldn't the cold areas be the safest because the zombies would be frozen? That was something I was always really hoping for from the uh, the Walking Dead series. Like, I would love... Uh... How would I describe it? I would love to play a zombie survival game where different regions have different effects. And, you know, pluses and minuses. So, your biggest issue with being up north wouldn't necessarily be that, you know, there are zombies anymore, but it's, you know, you just don't have a whole lot of supplies or food. So, you have to kind of scavenge more. And maybe there's some, like, really spooky frozen undead or stuff like that. But I, I really want to play a zombie game that is one year long. In game, not obviously in real life. And you have, as uh, as you're playing it, you have one year to survive. The first month is outbreak, maybe first two or three months even. Uh, but you know, it's outbreak. Zombies are are really expanding out, infecting everybody, and it's kind of your classic zombie survival. You know, zombies everywhere. They're near infinite. They're really fast and really aggressive and real hungry and you can't uh you can't really like fight back against them because there's just they're too many and they're just too aggressive and then after a certain point uh then after a certain point the numbers stop growing because they've killed everybody there's nothing there's nothing and nobody left and after that point it becomes more of a uh, a base building and, like, kind of farming survival crafting game. Where you're out gathering resources. You know, there's still zombies everywhere. But they're slow. most of them are slowing down. Some of them are mutating. And so you have to actually worry about more dangerous ones. But you're... You yourself are, are finally starting to recruit people. You know, you don't have nearly as many outbreaks. You can't just, like, be lazy and assume everything's going to work out for you. Uh, but it, it's more about staying stable. 
and just dodging the really spooky undeads. And then by the end of it, almost all of the undeads, uh, all of the almost all of the undead, all of the zombies have actually been, you know, they've they've starved, they've frozen, they've rotted away, and you just have a couple of really, you know, bad boys. Okay, these ones don't explode. And then it turns into Evolve, but without being a PvP game. That sounds like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, where there's zombies everywhere until you kill enough to make the area safe to loot and build at. With the caveat, of course, that Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead is odd and not very pretty. That's that's my sticking point. I looked into specifically uh, playing it at one point, and I was just like, oh man, this looks like a really cool game that a lot of people keep re recommending to me. Let's uh, let's see if it's worth doing a series on. And the answer was a very hard kinda. Okay. How are you the worst at aiming? I have no more knives. Wow. Okay, he did. And then all we have left is Chumbus. Alright, let's uh let's bring Chumbus over here so we don't have to worry about too much of his puke. Beauty parties. This guy doesn't really AI well. He's all HP. And there's definitely some danger involved in fighting this one, but... It's not as bad as you might think it would be. Oh, he does take damage from his own acid. It's just barely anything. Ex-human puker. I've already fought one of those as a mid-boss. I guess it doesn't count. Okay, so where am I going? I see some... Oh, I see a camp out here. Let's head for that. It's not a camp. It's a wishing well. Okay. Well, I sincerely doubt I'm going to find more porcelain here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a quick look see. Just to see what I can get. But at some point I'll I'll probably fit in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Keeper RL. I'd say Dwarf Fortress. But uh we're probably going... I'm probably going to do Dwarf Fortress as soon as it hits Steam. Okay, let's see if I can get some porcelain in here. That's regular spices. Oh, and my inventory is full. I don't know if there's an easy way for me to drop stuff. Inventory features... Nope! Alright! Alright! I guess I'll just leave that there. Oh well. Alas. That's what I get for having so much stuff on hand. It's fine. I see. Why aren't you using the machete? Because the crowbar does more damage. At least with the current upgrade levels that I've got. Uh, let's see. Hey, back in Twin Lakes. There we go. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, what can I upgrade? Backpack, I'm going to need more hide and ceramics. Crowbar, I need more iron, which is actually really easy to come by. There's the machete. Might as well get that. Okay, throwing knives now. Bandages, we need more scrap fabric. Eh. 
Okay, special item. I think I'm going to go just with the bandage for the time being. The throwing knives are kind of disappointing. They're not terrible, but... Uh, not, not really that good. Hello. Alright, let's see if these beds have anything good in them. Ooh, ooh, yes. This is what I was looking for. I don't remember if resources in these buildings respawn, like if the furniture does. I think it does. Okay, is this enough? Yes, we have enough to upgrade the crowbar. Let's go do that. I know we unlock a higher tier. It's probably a sledgehammer. Upgrade. Wait, what? Oh, no, I don't have enough. I don't know why I thought I had enough. Dumb brain, I guess. Imagine instead of throwing knives, you had throwing crowbars. I, you know, there's probably a Half-Life mod for that. Like, not even, not even joking. Oh, fish and chips. Fried fish with crispy potatoes on the side. Permanent effect when eaten. Extra fishing speed. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, do not have enough, uh... Uh, let's see. Nope, not enough. Get the calendar? Yes, I can break the calendar. Uh, let's see, we don't have enough patats. Excuse me, thonks. Oh man, I can reuse that joke. We can have the grand thonk and no one's gonna think about- I mean, thonk about it. I'm sure the Wholesome First members will get a chuckle, but they won't even know. Time to farm thonks. Yeah, I gotta figure out how seeds work with this, because it's like plant a seed, but I don't have any. I know there was a tutorial, but I kind of bipped past it, maybe a little too fast. Hey, Rito, how's life on your end? Okay. Any news on your internet situation? Probably not. Hey, you got it. I guess, speaking of the Grand Thonk... Oh, let's take a look at this. Hey. Speaking of the Grand Thonk, I... <sighs> Probably, now that life is calming down for some people, I'm especially kind of sort of on my end, I'm probably going to start looking... Uh, ooh. Today is the final day that the contractors have allowed before we get to scream at them. That's exciting. I mean, probably not what you want to do, especially when you're still living between your folks' house and your own new house, but still... But yeah, once things start calming down, I'm really going to start pushing for the uh, the tabletop campaign. Because I've been itching to do that for ages, but I I didn't want to do it Well, Rito is internetless. Rhapsody's channel was in jeopardy. And I guess livelihood was in jeopardy. They don't get it done by mid-November. They won't be able to install the internet until April. Cripes! I... <laughs> Ah, that, I, I don't even know what I'd do in that situation. I think, I think if I were put in that position, I could probably just break the lease and find somewhere else. But that's, yeah, frozen ground too hard to dig. Yeah, I can imagine that. Oh, wow. Sun just went, went behind a cloud where I am in a very big way. So some, my, suddenly my office went from... Totally normal to actually, like, maybe I should turn on a light dark. That's a fun feeling. So where the hell am I going? I... 
guess let's head over here to whatever this town is. Because we can't go back up here. It's a bad move. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's actually... Let's do proper story quest stuff. Can I break these? Nope. Uh, oh, right, and I need lockpicks to get in this this one. Which, we haven't even found those yet. I'm super excited about Tabletop, though. We're going to put together my character this week. Grace even made a character already. She doesn't even know if she wants it. Eh. I honestly, like, if, if Grace ever wants to, quote-unquote, join us, I wouldn't mind doing kind of like a, a B-sides B thing. Uh, with, like, her and Shell, so she doesn't have to feel super intimidated by the rest of the wholesome verse. Let's see, what system would it be? We'd probably start with 5th edition. It's the one that everybody knows. Uh, the one that I know the most-ish. Technically, I know uh, 3.5 edition, and I've just been winging it with 5th edition for so long that, like, good enough. Uh, let's see. Eventually, I'd like to get people to do a Lancer campaign, which is like sci-fi with mechs and stuff in a solar punk setting, which is like by and far my, my favorite setting ever. But I know that that would be a learning experience for everybody, and I'd rather do that after we've all done some, some tabletop stuff and figured out like, whoops. Figured out who actually wants to like stick around for long campaigns and so on and so forth. And, I mean, if things go real peachy, I'm even up for, like, running multiple campaigns simultaneously. It's just herding cats is hard enough. Uh, herding cats is kind of tough with, like, one campaign. Trying to do two. Whoops. Trying to do two would be hard. Uh, let's see. Just gonna have the crowbar. Still does just a little bit more than the machete, which is a shame, because I want the machete to be that much beefier. But yeah, once once I hear everybody else is getting to the point where they'd be ready for tabletop stuff, uh, I'm pretty much ready to go. Whoops. The beauty parts of making a somewhat universal tile set is that... Really, all I have to do is just work on the tile set and then build a map real quick out of whatever I, uh, whatever parts I have. And then if I need something new, then I spend a whole evening just making a bunch of trees, for example. It works great. Do you know if anyone's put together a druid yet? We have... no, we've got a monk, we've got a rogue, we've got a bard, and we've got an artificer. So I think druid is, I think druid is completely untaken. So go for it. Whoops. You... Okay, so bandages are not throwing weapons. Maybe they are in certain games. There we go. Still not very good at fighting those guys. Eventually, I think we get a ranged weapon that makes them a lot easier. Oh, is this, is this where I started the night? I think we have a quest in here. Yeah, okay, this is not where we started the night, but this is a good spot for it. The Artificer is fun, but the early abilities are quite weak. Eh. I mean, straight up, most of my campaigns are not particularly hard. Like, I am very much rule of cool over, like, brutal difficulty. And so on and so forth. I, I've i been in campaigns that were hard on purpose. And it was the most boring thing I've ever been in before. Where, like, I effectively had to min-max to be the best healer I possibly could be. Because otherwise we're all going to die. Which effectively meant I didn't do anything but heal and maybe buff people. Maybe. And it just wasn't very enjoyable for me and... You know, maybe it was fun for everybody else, but I didn't get to do anything. Wayward storage key. 
What's this? Find the storage key. Is it no the dossier? Hey guys, it seems I forgot the key in the pocket of my pants. My wife must have put them in the washing machine, so it seems the shipment will be late. Sorry. Wow, that's... That's gonna win you some favors with your co-workers. Also, finish reading the Adventure Zone graphic novels. Super excited for the fourth. Yeah, they're good. I... I doubt I would... I doubt it would happen anytime soon, but if I could ever... One of my dreams is getting to the point where I could justify funding uh, somebody making a graphic novel of my stuff. Whatever it would be. Just hire Sam to do it. Shit, that actually would be... <laughs> it's not a terrible idea. Yeah, listen to the podcast, it's so much better. There's something about the visual elements that the podcast format loses, which is a bit of a shame. I love the the audio version. Like, it's super good, but I really need something to look at. Otherwise, I just zone out and start thinking about other things. And so reading a graphic novel or, like, watching a campaign, like what I do with, with official art assets and stuff... Uh, it's so much easier on my end. Uh, let's see. Can I make anything? Oh, we don't. We doubly don't have enough of, like, anything. That's fine. Okay, so we got a cutter out there. I don't really care. The only zombie that actually gives me trouble is straight up the spitter one, and it's because they know how to backpedal. Okay. What is... What am I breaking in here? What was... Oh, that was probably a shower. Let's see. Don't have any more lumber. Yeah, don't have any inventory space, but we're right next to the campfire, so that doesn't matter. Eventually, I will be able to destroy walls. That is the dream. Being able to Kool-Aid man through entire houses is going to be so choice. Okay, so what am I looking at? I need two more leather... Decent chunk of metal, if I want to get the next backpack. I guess we should probably start with Cutsy McGee over here. Well, that was actually quite easy. Never mind. Oh, that's blocked. Did I break the fire hydrant? No, not valid. Uh, let's see. Have you watched any other campaigns? I actually... So, full disclosure, uh, Adventure Zone is the only D&D &D campaign I've ever been able to watch that somebody else has done. I don't entirely know why. Uh, like, I tried watching Critical Role and I found it to just be almost too well-structured. The first episode was also incredibly slow. And so it's like, I... I want to I want to watch more stuff, but the other thing is I have to be either so far into a campaign that it doesn't leak into my brain, or uh, let's see, no, oh, I don't remember exactly where I learn recipes. I have to be so far deep into my own campaign that I don't start passively stealing ideas, or I have to be so far between campaigns that I can forget about them and rewrite it. Uh, when I was working on Grave of Man, I was I was starting to to watch the Adventure Zone, and the problem I ran into was, I, like some of their ideas would leak into the campaign, unintentionally. I catch it midway through like DMing, and it'd be like, oh, shoot, I can't just do this. Let's see, extra plant growth speed. Nah, let's go Fisher. The more EXP I can get, the better. Chib Trio. Counterweight. Extra crit damage. 
requires level 50. Whoa, okay. 